Hey guys and welcome to my first ever YouTube Q&A video. I've actually been meaning to do one for ages but I've kind of been scared, as silly as that sounds. You kind of think people are going to judge you and you know all that bullshit but I'm just going to do it. I kind of feel like on Instagram all you guys see is like a picture. I think it will kind of be a good way for you guys to kind of get to know who I am and like how I actually am instead of just through a photo because I like barely talk on my Instagram as well so yeah let's do this shall we? I actually have a lot of questions on here about my health and fitness so I feel like I should probably talk about that first. A couple of questions here is how did you get into health and fitness and when did you start really getting into fitness? Let's put love you by the way. Oh, cute. Please. Um, okay, so I think how I got into my oh, how I got into my fitness from like the very beginning. I used to at college I played netball, football, and volleyball. So I've always kind of been into sport. I used to have a gym membership, but I literally never went. I guess after college, I started going to boot camps. They were held at Alti Lagoon actually. They were like hit training classes and then he actually opened up a gym which is called athletes village which i still go to now i'm one of the ogs <laughs> okay i don't know why i did this yeah so i started going there doing more hit trainings and he obviously had some gym machines so i started sort of like i don't know doing it myself but that didn't really do much so then me and my sister actually started with a personal trainer there we did a bunch of sessions with her she kind of gave us like a training plan. Then I kind of got inspo from Instagram. <laughs> I started like following people that like work out and then started copying their workouts. Got to know different machines better. I've actually been really lucky because I've become friends with like people who are personal trainers as well. So they've been able to help me. I don't even know, seriously. I just sort of learnt, taught myself, learnt from other people just tried things and but something that's always 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 worked for me is high intensity interval training um i literally see changes in my body so quickly because all you're doing is bloody running and like so many different exercises all into like 30 40 minutes every class i do i'm literally finishing with dripping sweat it's disgusting but it's so good so yeah i guess it sort of started there when I started to use Instagram more often. I kind of posted my own workout videos, which is so cringe now, I've deleted them. I got sponsored by a supplement company, and then from there, I kind of just kept posting stuff and just became really into my health and fitness. As the years have passed, I've obviously gotten so much more knowledge about my health and what I should be eating, what my body needs. Yeah, that's literally how my fitness journey started. Okay, I suck at answering questions, so let's just move on to the next one, shall we? Okay, another one about my health and fitness, actually. I've got, how do you have such a nice body? And then someone else is like, what do you eat in a day? Oh, and then I also have another one on here. Where is that? Let me find it. Someone's like, how do you stay so slim when it seems that you eat out a lot and include lots of treat foods? <laughs> Honestly, I don't take photos of all my healthy foods I eat because they're so boring. Like, literally, I eat tuna and rice and salad. Well, I'm not going to take a photo of that. But I would say I eat healthy probably 80% of the time, maybe 70 sometimes. So I only ever post my treats, you know, on my Instagram because you guys want to see treats. You don't want to see my bloody tuna, rice and salad, do you? Or like my chicken, broccoli and rice. <laughs> so yeah, that's literally all you guys see. I don't even know what I've said. I kind of like base my meals around protein. So I'll eat like some meat. I'll either have vegetables or salad. And then I'll either have some good carbs. So I'll have brown rice or kumara or gluten-free pasta or something quite boring so I don't share them on Instagram like you guys don't want to see that the only things I actually show is my bad meal that's because they're so bloody good and I want to share them <laughs> I'm not one of those people who meal prep as such I hate the taste of like frozen veggies or frozen meat I, I just can't 
can't do it. I want to enjoy my meal. Say for instance, if I'm working tomorrow morning, because I am, I'll make dinner tonight, um, but I'll make extra my lunch tomorrow. So at work, I don't eat the plain food because it is so easy to bloody eat plain food. It's not funny. So much food left over. And saying that, I do always let myself have a treat if I want a treat. I went to the movies last night and I had popcorn, ice cream, lollies, chocolate, and a fizzy drink. <laughs> But the entire week, I've been so good with my eating. Okay, another question. What is your fave activewear brands? Someone's like, are you working with ECT now? Oh my god. It's actually not ECT. Um, it looks like ECT, and I've been calling it ECT for so bloody long. That's why I'm just like used to it. It's actually itch. Anyway, my favorite activewear brands would have to honestly be right away. I'm actually wearing one of their tops now. Cute. Love that. And itch. They're my two favorites. Like they both have a lot of different stuff. I love the Seamless collection. That's what I'm wearing right now. Um, I've got like so many of the pants, so many of these long tops. I literally live in them. They're so comfy and so stretchy. Itch also has a different sort of activewear to right wear. But um, they've still like kind of got this material, but it's a bit thicker, I would say. But they're super comfy as well. Genuinely love those two brands. I've tried like a lot of brands actually. I used to be a big fan of Lululemon and, and Nike and Adidas and stuff, but I honestly prefer the two brands that I wear. I love that they have so much variety as well. Um, yeah, would recommend. I'm currently, I'm like not working with them as such. They did offer me a contract sort of thing, but I signed a contract with Rider Wear. But I'm still kind of working with Ect, if that makes sense. I made sure I wasn't exclusive with Rider Wear. Um, so I'm still able to work with different activewear brands, but I'm just, I don't have a contract with Etch, but I still promote some of their stuff because I love it. So I'm still gonna continue to do it. So yeah, that's, that's that question done. <laughs> have you ever thought about going brunette? Yes, I have. Yes, I've done it and I'm never doing it again did not suit me. Who's older, you or your partner? My partner, he's older. He's 20, oh. Actually, we're both 25 right now, but um, he turns 26 in December and I don't turn 26 till next year, April. How did you meet Hayes and what's your story? Ugh, that's a long one. <laughs> um, but, short story. Me and Hayden met in like 2014, so quite a while, oh, no, actually it might have been 2013. I can't remember, one or the other, but quite some time ago. First met him at a Flume concert. He gave me a shoulder ride um, at the concert and then he grabbed my phone, put his phone number in my phone and text himself off my phone so he had the correct number so that was like firstly how we met and then we started talking from there long story but we were together for a long time then we broke up we decided to split but it honestly was like the best thing for us i'm glad we did break up we needed to i grew personally a lot myself and i know he did too yeah so we had like no contact for maybe over like a year and we were like both happy and you know doing our own thing so it was cool <laughs> then i went on a bloody tv show tried to find love <laughs> did not find love still again like we didn't talk at all i think it, i don't even know when it was but he randomly went on a holiday and funny enough um i got to work one morning 5 a.m in the morning walking to my aircraft and then I see Hayden and I'm like, holy shit, my heart just like dropped. And I was like, oh my God, he better not be on my bloody flight. And what do you know, he was on my flight. But like, again, he didn't know that I was on the flight. It was so weird. It was like, it was meant to be. We hadn't seen each other in so long and we hadn't talked in so long. But when we saw each other, it was just like real weird. Oh my God. It was like, I don't know. Just things had never changed, you know? Then we kind of just randomly started talking again. I guess started this year. We just started talking a lot, hanging out again. And I guess you can't really deny it if something is like still there and you both feel it and you both still feel those feelings towards each other. Uh, feel those feelings towards each other. We just kind of like decided to give it another shot and you know, here we are today, still going strong. Oh my god. And that was a very, very, very short version because that's years. 
years and years cut down into like a minute. There you go. Um, do you find it hard trying to balance your diet and having to travel for work? Any tips? Holy, honestly, my job is the worst job for trying to eat healthy. It's actually really hard, but I do try my best because I have goals and I want to work towards them. You know, I like to be um, healthy and I like to stay fit. I like to be in good shape, you know, so there's stuff you've got to do. I actually try and bring as many meals as I can to work, but you can only bring so much. On like a trip, I can't bring food because all my trips are international, but I'm short haul. It's real. Yeah. I fly over the Tasman every day. We overnight in Australia. I can't bring in meat. I can't bring in veggies, salad, barely anything. On my overnights, I have to go to the supermarket and try and get the healthiest sort of foods I can. Whenever I have return shifts, I'll always take a meal. As I said, tuna and rice with salad or vegetables. Or it'll be chicken with kumara and vegetables or you know I just like mix mix my meals um, but I bring my snacks as well so I bring like a protein bar corn wafers with peanut butter banana um, if it's a breakfast service I'll bring my own bread so I can heat it up in the oven or I'll bring oats make oats the garlic bread rolls or uh, like the ice creams the chocolate you know everything and it's so hard I have the biggest sweet tooth and I want to eat like the ice creams and the chocolate every single day because I crave it. I honestly have to like stop myself. Like I have to be like, Kelsey, no, do not eat it. Sometimes I cave and I eat it, but that's okay because I don't do it every day. So some days it's okay. How do you pull off so many gym colors with your gym gear? Confidence. And I love color. I've just always loved color. So I will wear it even if I look silly. Someone said, are you planning on having kids? How? Yes, I am. I am definitely having kids. Don't know when, but no rush at the moment. So much to do with my life. Not really time for kids right now. I guess when it happens, it happens. Definitely want to have a family and I definitely want to have children. Can't wait to have a little mini me, oh my God. What pathway did you do to get your current flight attendant job? And it says courses, etc. I literally did nothing. You don't need to. <laughs> One of my friends applied to be a flight attendant and I was like, oh my God, like I hate my life. I hated my work. I hated what I did every single day. I was like, I need to do something else. I need to do something new. So I chose to apply to be a flight attendant. I've never had any training whatsoever, no courses, nothing. And I was like, ugh, you know what, I'll just go for it. Then I went to the interview. There was literally 60 people at my interview. That so many of them had been to like New Zealand School of Tourism and like, you know, courses, because they were all wearing exactly the same thing. Their hair was all in a low bun with the little donut things, and they looked, like, perfect. And I came in my hair in, like, a high ponytail, like a red blazer on, a tight black skirt, long skirt. I was like, oh my god, what the... And I probably stood out, because I'm this bloody bright red blazer. Yeah, anyway, I did my interview. It was, like, a group activity interview thing. And they let you go off, um, and you get, like, a phone call whether to come back or not. And I got the phone call, 20 of us went back, we had our interviews. Yeah, they told me they were gonna call me if I got the job or not. I ended up getting the phone call, got the job. Only seven of us got the job out of 60, but three had been to a course, four hadn't. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's necessary to do a course, but then again, if you want to, just to know what you're up to, go for it, but it's not necessary, you don't need to, like, why waste your money? Just try, apply for the job. Customer service experience obviously really helps, I had customer service experience. If you're good with, like, talking to people, interacting with people, and always happy, smiley, you know, like, good, positive vibe about you. That's my opinion anyway. Big fan of your fitness style. Oh, that's cute. That's not a question, but I like it. Someone just said, will you marry me? <laughs> no. Are your teeth real or veneers? How are they so perfect? Thanks. Now, um, so 
People actually ask me this all the time, like, how are my teeth so white? I go to Lovely Smiles. They are in Wellington and Auckland. I've had, like, maybe three or four sessions, so that's how they're so white. And my teeth are literally all natural. They are honestly the most beautiful, nicest people ever. Like, I love going to see them. Honestly, their teeth whitening stuff is so good. I actually have it really straight, tut teeth, and I haven't had braces at all, but my bottom teeth... Well, they're not so much, but it's okay because when I smile, you can't see it in. See? <laughs> um, there's a few heartbreak questions. I don't really want to make this about Heartbreak Island. What was your real experience like on Heartbreak Island? Um, honestly, best experience of my life. I had the best time. It was so cool and I honestly enjoyed myself so much. I met like the bestest friends that I'm going to have for a lifetime. I see the challenges were so hard. You like watch them on the TV, you're like, man, I could have done that, I could have done that. But no, like they're actually really difficult. I so wanted to stay longer and I so wanted to like keep doing more challenges and stay there. It was literally like a holiday, we didn't have to pay for a thing. But it was a stressful holiday actually. And you got fed the most amazing food every single day, lunch, dinner and breakfast. But it was actually really weird. It was kind of weird to see how TV shows are filmed and stuff. When I watched it back, I was like, oh my God, that did not happen. But I'd like put one of my facial expressions when something was happening and I'm like, that was not my face at that time. Excuse me. Now when I watch TV shows, I literally am like, are you sure that facial was when that happened? You know? A lot of things weren't showing and a lot of things were showing but in a different way than it actually happened, if you get what I mean. Yeah. I don't know. But honestly, all in all, I had the best experience. I'm so glad I did it. So I'm just going to finish it there. Thank you so much for watching my Q&A video. Sorry I didn't answer all your questions. But I kind of rambled a lot and I probably bored you. Thank you to everyone who actually made it to the end of this video. If you didn't, that's fine. I don't blame you. But yeah, that was sort of fun. May or may not see you in my next video. 